to know if the volume is too soft or too loud or anything like that. This is the first time we're doing this. This is the debut episode? This is the debut episode. Oh my god, I'm honored. Isn't that great? Do you know what I'm calling this? Actually, you know, I can't read comments. Never mind, so. Um, do you know what I'm calling this thing? What? I'm calling it Scottcast. Scottcast. Like podcast? Yeah, Scottcast. Like, I got and you know, I got the idea from Casey because, um, uh, you know, Casey does this thing. He calls it the orchestra of people. And I just, every time I hear that name, I just crack up because it's the dumbest name. <laughs> you know, it's just it, like, it's so, what does that even mean? Orchestra of people, I guess, opposed to orchestra of dogs, but it sticks with it. You know, so these like little stupid names like Scott cast, that's going to like, I think it's going to stick. I think it's going to be a hit. Yeah. yeah. I'm, so, I'm, I'll co-sign so on. thanks to Casey. And also Casey, if you guys are, uh, if you've checked out the new postmodern truth box video, Casey's in it today and he kills it. He sounds awesome. Also, now he knows that you think his orchestra of people name is terrible. I've told him. We've to go in, oh, okay. We go over this all the time. This is news then. Okay. <laughs> but the big thing is Adam does um, – uh, he does the Soul and Green reference like every time. He's like, it's made of people. It's people. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so how it are you, Shoshana? Like you play your body. It's like an orchestra of people, like voices and – Oh, of bodies? You know, like, well, that's more of – I guess you're right. That's, that would be – that would be what orchestra of people should be. Yeah, we'll just harmonize and like make – You know, you could maybe like pattern that and then – but then you'd be stealing it from Casey. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be that. able to execute it. So yeah. we'll leave it to Casey. Leave it to Casey. Yeah. So there you go. I so love Casey. so um uh this is the very first episode. And I am there's absolutely no... honored to be your first victim. I know. Well, yeah, this is great. And yes. um you wore white after Labor Day. Just I did. For I've I've had no feelings about that. I often wear white in winter. Um, Why did that rule come about? I mean, I think it's kind of dumb. It's I arbitrary. feel like it's an antiquated rule. I feel like it doesn't really apply anymore. It shouldn't. Um, it shouldn't. Especially we live in California, so none of that applies. I mean, right. And then there's winter white. Like, I just feel like it's a great area. We are in California with 90 degree heat, and I'm supposed to, like, be. How am I supposed to dress? It's fall, mm. but it's still hot, so this was my compromise. I think it's great. I Thank think you. You should keep Thank doing you. what you're doing. Thank you. So, Shoshana, I know you have a, an album coming out. Yes. You just finished recording. Tell, tell some people about this because uh, you told me about it, and it sounds amazing. It sounds like the kind of album that I would listen, and if I had a turntable, I would, I would get it on vinyl just to hear it over I can't and over believe again. you don't have a turntable. I think I do, actually. People. I do. It's do in I? a box I, I do. or in pieces. I have, I have a turntable. We have, we have Rook, as our, Rook as our engineer, and he's engineering this session. He's kind of also a fact checker. He just yelled yeah. at us, too. What did I, you say? I, I gave you yeah. the, uh, the turntable. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a bastard. So there we go. I have a turntable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on from oh, that. Oh, poor Rook. <laughs> I know. That's a great gift. That's a great gift. That was a great an gift. An appropriate one, yes. I haven't used it, um, but yeah. Yeah, the album's a big band album. It's cool. a, a full, proper 18-piece big band that we uh, recorded mm. the whole album live in the same room. That's amazing. Um, inspired by like it's kind of big band with a twist so it's like yeah. it was inspired by the big band records like from frank sinatra and some of the streisand records mm-hmm. aretha and ray charles did some big band albums yeah, as yeah, well so sure. we drew from all of those all of which are huge influences for me as an artist so it felt um right to to pay homage to to where i came from essentially um with them but then like you know our rhythm section piano bass guitar drums were not big band players yeah okay. they were some of you know the players on some of your favorite pop records. And, and so the rhythm section has a little bit more, I mean, the inappropriate way to say it, they just have more balls than it, a yeah. typical big band rhythm section uh. would, um, which totally lit the horn players up. They were geeked to be able to play, you know, traditional arrangements with a totally non-traditional rhythm section. Yeah, so the well, combination just kind of created magic. I think that it is fun when you get people out of their comfort zone. Um, yeah. I love working. I love bringing uh, just awesome instrumentalists that maybe have only done jazz yeah. and bringing them into the PMJ context where they get to work with an awesome singer that is maybe in a different genre yeah. or we're doing something that's like a pop song, you know? Yeah. Um, it's so cool to see them uh, apply their instincts and just like all the years of training that they have to something that's a completely different, you know, uh, area of expertise. And yeah. I don't know. I think, I think it just cool. makes the stew like a little more interesting. Yeah. Really yeah. Definitely. Unexpected flavors. And people often, you know, these are some of the best, you know, whether it's a jazz player or a big band player Mm -hmm. in their specific genre, but to take them out, like you, I just always assume like they don't want to be messed with. They do what they do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people love to be stretched and out of their comfort zone. People like to be challenged. I think that, well, you must always, because you are always doing something different. I think what I uh, really appreciate about working with you in general is just that you're always up for a a different challenge. Like I was like, I I, I texted you. Well, yeah, I texted (laughs) you. I was like, I'm doing a podcast today. And most people would be like, 
What does that mean? What are you oh, doing? Oh, I learned not to ask and... questions with you. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. I'm like, just show up, Shoshana. Warm your voice up because he's probably going to make you sing. And just make <laughs> yeah, sure that's you're true. Halfway decent. In case I do this involved thing where I do where I have a singer and we're work, working on something, and then I just turn on the camera. I'm like, hey, let's do this. I'm going to do a pianogram or whatever. Yeah. And these people are like, what? Okay. Yeah. Sure, see, you know? I've messed with you long enough to know. Yeah. Always you know something that you, you don't expect you know the is deal. Happen, so. But but you do that with your own your own creative projects. Like you've done. You did something with Morgan recently right you did with morgan james oh yeah that's that was morgan's project i was very oh, grateful cool. okay. and honored to be involved right um, uh-huh. but yeah that was her brainchild and her baby from soup to nuts and she executed mm-hmm. it as she does um brilliantly right um, and, and you also i mean you you write as well i mean you... i do i do i didn't write much on this new project there's only three originals the rest are covers so well i know you um, write that but you also don't you do like screenplays and stuff <laughs> like, or, uh, no, you don't do that. No, we have so a. Make... Um, we wrote a music. A friend, a friend of mine and I wrote a musical cool. uh-huh. that has now been adapted for television. But I, I only write the music. I don't write. The oh, music. gotcha. Okay, yeah. but still, that's cool. That's like you know a different world. Thanks. Yeah. No, it, to me, it's not. It, music yeah. is music. You know, projects, creation. It's all the same to me. Whether it's gotcha. I think the business aspect is different. And obviously, the technological execution is different, but. Well, that's, that changes all the time. Too. To me, you know, you know what you watched like, on the computer, you know, is the yeah. same as what I do with my record. Like just being bossy, yeah. calling <laughs> shots, telling people how it's going to go, coming up with, the, you know, following my inspiration. It's all the same. <laughs> following your muse. Yeah. I've been right. doing it my whole life. That's great. So what's the new album called? Do you have a name? I do. No one knows yet. Oh, can we not, can we not it say yet. it? We can. Yeah. Okay. This is like breaking news. Is, really? Yeah. Yeah. Is that going to feel weird saying it? No, I, it's going to feel weird to me. I don't think it's like wrong. Let's do it. Is let's, it? This, is, this is an amazing moment right now. Oh, God. It's, <laughs> now I'm making it a bigger deal than it is. <laughs> I, my pleasures don't even know. Is okay. that bad form? No, I don't think so. Um, They're going to know we'll, like in a couple days. We'll tell so. them right away. Yeah. Um, it's called Spectrum. Spectrum, okay, cool. Yeah, I built it up like it was going to be like, <laughs> yeah, this like long, the quest of journey of <laughs> life from beginning to end. I don't know. Spectrum. I would get that album too. If you called it that, I would... <laughs> You would? I would be like, wow, there's got to be so much meaning in this. It's yeah, such a no, meaningful title. No. So what's why Spectrum? Is it just, I mean, I, I'd imagine like my untrained uh, answer would be. Yeah, tell me. That I guess it's like you're doing, it's a whole spectrum of, of moods or uh, influences or, yeah, you know, that of. come together to make one whole Shoshana Bean, if you yeah, will. Yeah, I think that whole is probably, I would have called the album whole or complete or like. Okay integrity or something to just integrity just integrity to, that sounds like a yeah i don't know what that sounds like i would, I would never it's like, a, like, like a tech like uh like one of those like the new operating system integrity or something like that <laughs> I, I use the word integrity a lot like it's important yeah. to okay. me because mm-hmm. it, it it you know the meaning of sort of like whole and complete of operating in that way and mm. i think um that would have been the those would have been the words if you said describe the album in one word to me yeah you know all the different influences from growing up from from doing theater to doing my own stuff to right. you know people who found me through you guys or through what any other collaboration i think there just always feels like there's somebody who is happy with what i'm delivering but wanting like why don't you just do this why don't you just do that there's always yeah mm-hmm. and i feel like with this record there is going to be something for everybody on it as well as i'm happy with it i feel like i mm-hmm. get to use all of my stylistic info, every facet of every note in my range, every, like right. every, every, yes, everything is accounted for. I think it's the most complete um, representation of me. Like I said, if, if, you know, God willing, I'm long gone and someone's like, ah, you should listen to Shoshana Bean. And they say, well, what record should I check out? This is like the Desert Island. This Shoshana, is the, Shoshana oh, Bean. I don't know about Desert that. Desert Island <laughs> disc. This, this is like would just be take. the most, at, so far yeah. in my body okay. of work that exists today, like this would be the most, the best representation of all that I'm. That well, I'm it's such doing. an interesting concept, I think, because I don't think, I mean, when you told me you were doing it with a big band, I was like, wow, that's that's <laughs> completely different than anything you've done before. Yeah. Which I think is super cool. But I know? feel like when you hear it, if you've heard my other records, it mm-hmm. won't feel like a departure. It felt like a terrifying departure for me. Yeah. To do that. But sonically, mm-hmm. it just feels like my second album on steroids, I guess. Yeah. You uh-huh. know, it doesn't feel like as weird of a departure as it sounds like. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's, let's back it up. Let's go back to, <laughs> let's go back to, you're smiling because you know what I'm going to make you show to the I'm people. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so, well, tell us a little bit. First of all, tell us how you got interested in music. Like, what, what was the, like, the catalyst? What kind of sprung you into wanting to be a performer? 
Um, I think I just, I was raised in a house where music was always playing. Yeah. The turntable. Mm -hmm. um, my parents just love music. My dad. Yeah, my parents love music too. Yeah, did, so it was did always they, Did they play or did they sing or did they? No, my mom yeah. was a dancer and my okay. dad, they took piano lessons when he was younger, but wow, he okay. also grew up with parents who constantly played music. Yeah. So um, both of them just, there was just always music playing and of all styles. So mm -hmm. um, I just feel like it was just already in, in me because it was already something, I mean, I just gravitated towards singing and dancing and mm -hmm. doing all that stuff in the living room before I even knew what it was or meant. Yeah, um, I think it was kind of the same. I think that... It doesn't matter. I mean, people always look and be like, well, do you have, like, what did your parents do? Are they also professional musicians or something? And that happens sometimes, but I don't think it's necessary. No. I think that if parents expose their kids to a lot of music, you know, I think that that's probably where, and, and music's fun for kids. Like, yeah. There's no kids. I don't think that there's any kids that just dislike music or just I like, I hope there you know? isn't. Yeah. But, um, yeah, my first album was uh, Michael Jackson's Bad. And that was, wasn't that great? That was like, I was so. <laughs> Mine was probably Thriller. Really? Okay. All like right. The first one that I remember, like, which shows you how MJ was that big. That oh man. There's never gonna be an artist like that that was. No. You know. Nope. nope. Have that many big hits that everybody in the world knew. No. So, but like that's that's another tangent. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So you were a little kid, and yeah, I just had just, a lot of energy, dressing mm -hmm. up, dancing around, all mm -hmm. this stuff. So finally, my mom was like, "We got to put her in yeah. something, dance class or a theater troupe," and that was kind of it. it so just, which was it? Theater or was it? Uh, the first thing was dance class. I okay. believe. I started tap dance at three years old. Okay. Because I, my mom loves to tell the story. I ran up on stage and interrupted mm -hmm. my cousin's dance concert before I had been placed. <laughs> went up on stage, and they were like, "Ah." Oh. First of all, how did you let your child out of your hands enough to run to the front? Like, <laughs> at some point, was there anyone who could grab her and stop her? Apparently not. This is the 70s, 80s, so they yeah. were much more loose. And, a, um, yeah, there were rules against that now. But, so, um, yeah, so it started with dance and then theater and then... Um, so you had a desire to... You were ready to... I just take, wanted to you sing. You wanted the spotlight, I too. I just wanted to sing. Well, it wasn't just that. You also liked to perform because... Oh, yes, I was an only child. I loved attention. Okay. Loved, but what was, yeah. what's funny is as soon as I was in a theater production, like, then I just, like, don't look at me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, oh, really? Okay. Then, like, sort of the, like... Was that because the spotlight was already on you? Or I don't something? know what it was. I think uh -huh. back and I'm like, why were you so shy yeah. when you were demanding the attention yeah. at home? Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? I don't know. But of course I got over all that. And sure, yeah. Do you ever get you don't you don't ever get like stage fright today, do you? No, I feel like stage fright is almost like a paralyzing thing. I get nervous. I get excited. But like good like good nervous. There's yeah, good yeah. nervous. Like you want to be like amped up. Sure, sure, sure. Show. Like adrenaline type yeah, stuff. Uh -huh. Never like <gasps> I can't go out there. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever experienced that. That's yeah. what I that's how I associate stage fright with like <gasps> That's gonna like be hard. It's gonna be hard to be a performer that has that. I mean I know a few people that <gasps> I don't know that who pushes through get, that. Yeah. Do you know people like that? Uh, I mean there's a few people that are on the more nervous end of the spectrum in terms of Oh sure. You know, before going on, you know, where they'll be yeah. nervous to be on stage and everything. Yeah. Um, but I think I most like, people get like, I don't know, you get like maybe good butterflies or something like that. Yeah. 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 I get, it's just really an the anticipation. Once I'm out there, it's like, yeah. Once I'm but, out there. Well, they say that, I mean, what the most nerve wracking thing is public speaking. They say that that's, I would concur. I think that that's hard. I think that that's hard. Why is that? I don't know. I think, um, no well, they friend. say that, uh, I, I heard somewhere that, um, like there's an evolutionary reason that it's because back in the day, if you were public speaking, you were trying to clear yourself of like a crime. You know, like they no would put, way. it would be like people that would yeah. have to go up and testify in front of their community. You're on trial for your life. Yeah. And yeah. So what? it's like maybe it's a holdover from that. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. That's it might be. Maybe Where'd people just don't that? like to, I don't remember where. So I'm not citing, I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not a good, good at uh, citing my sources. It's so, brilliant. I'm fascinated. Yeah. So I'll take it. Well, it might not be true, so Damn don't it. don't take it too far. But it's anyway, going back to so young Shoshana, there was um a clip that you put on your Instagram a while ago, and it was like my favorite Shoshana <laughs> post ever, and it's 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 you at your birthday party. Uh -huh. How old were you? Nine. I was turning nine. nine it was you old. at your ninth birthday party, mm -hmm. and uh, well, I'll let you give the the story. Well, what, what was happening at your ninth birthday party? I decided it was a lip sync party. Yeah. But the invitation was like, you can lip sync or sing your song. Because I obviously was not going to be <laughs> lip syncing. I was going to be singing. So you're trying to be inclusive. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay. lip syncing or singing. Yeah. So you were supposed to bring a song prepared, dress up like the artist that mm -hmm. you were, whoever song you were lip syncing. 
uh, you know, this was really just an excuse to put on makeup because obviously at mm. our age we weren't allowed to wear makeup. But if we were performing, we could put on all the makeup we wanted. I see. So okay. wear makeup, wear a costume, come prepared knowing your song. And then once they got there, the rules were like, you know, you can bring people up to dance with you or be part of your performance or you don't have to, whatever you want. This um, was a lot of, I like that you clarified all these rules ahead of time. Oh yeah, I was, that was very... Uh, these invitations must have been pretty crazy. They were probably... <laughs> well, a lot of the rules It was like a three-page manual of, of stuff. I don't even remember if it was like a uh-huh. written thing or if it was like a phone call. Like, okay, Do you want to yeah. come to my birthday? Here's what we're doing. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was written. So, so um, you, I had Shoshana bring the DVD, and this is really fun. Um, <laughs> she brought the DVD of her of ninth birthday party. Ninth birthday. All right, you got it on your laptop? Pull that up. Pull that up. We're going to show people... I think it's this dead, thing. And maybe you can it? give a little like director's it's dead. commentary. It's on your phone, isn't it? Is it? No, you're right. It's, oh, it's working. Okay, I've it's got six percent. Is everyone ready? A yeah, director's okay. yeah. You're gonna commentary you're gonna the narration. Um, oh my gosh! Keep talking while I this sort is, this out. Well, okay, you know how you. slow it it's, is. It's slow. She's got a very old computer, and <laughs> I think maybe we're gonna start like... a GoFundMe for you to get a new computer. <laughs> it's really gonna... <laughs> not. All the guts have just been like updated. It's just this. It's well, been... that might be also like that planned obsolescence thing that they do. They do it with my phone. So you have your, to. Your oh, my phone is like. It's slow. But I'm like you. We had this conversation before mm-hmm. we started filming was like, yeah. I just know what I know and like what I like. Like people are trying to get me to go from iMovie to Final Cut Pro and I'm like, I know what I know. Yeah. Don't make me get a new phone. Well, I, I think that there's, a, there's a real value to just sticking with one thing because the, the time that it takes to learn something new, you know, you could what be doing. the time? Oh, so here we go. All right. You're so welcome, how we, guys. How can we. Uh, I'll walk up to the. What do you think? We're going to put it up here. So you're gonna talk. You're gonna talk into this mic. Okay. Here we go. I'm moving this mic. All right. I mean, you guys. I worked tirelessly for weeks to choreograph this. What I really wanted to do was sing Whitney Houston "Greatest Love of All," but we had talked. You just threw the mic. Did you see that? You you just threw the mic. It was in my way. It was in my way, and it wasn't um, giving me the amplification necessary. I could do that myself. So I wanted to do "Greatest Love of All." But I heard that like Kim Penny and also Malika were going to do a Whitney Houston song. So I just assumed it was going to be Greatest Love of All. So I was like, I can't be doing a song that anyone else is doing. So I chose a more obscure tune, which has kind of become my MO. But I chose an Irene Cara song. You've never heard this song in your life. Why me? (laughs) So I wanted to sing. This is the terrible part. I literally as a child thought I was black, wanted to be black. My mom <laughs> had this makeup in her in the freezer for summer months because she's really dark skinned. And I was like, if I sing a song by a black woman, I can put on this makeup. Is that terrible? <laughs> <laughs> You're like you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right, we're live. We're live, you know. But yeah, um, do it. it's true. Well, I, I didn't, we didn't know the. Di- well, I mean, you wouldn't. I mean, no, when you're a kid, you don't. No. You don't there doesn't seem to be. Anything I just wanted that. to yeah. be Whitney Houston. Okay. Just, yeah. In every way. Mm-hmm. Anyway, now I invited my friends up to dance. <laughs> but not for so, long. So look at that. Look at that cartwheel. Ooh, look sex. at that. Yes. Now that's enough. You guys can go, because I'm the star of this. So <laughs> get. <laughs> you just pushed. Was that that girl that, that you was just Sarah. pushed out of the way? That okay. Was Sarah. I like that you ever you know everybody's name. Too. I remember them. Okay, here comes my huge dance break, which really is just eight counts repeated over and over again. Stolen from the musical The Wiz, which I had just done a couple weeks prior. Yep, yep, rushing through it. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Whoa, okay. (sighs) Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the best of it, Scott. I don't want to bore the people. I think, well, that's good. I mean, I think we got the idea. Jesus. But... But wow. Only for you, what I thought was humiliation. You talk trash about making <laughs> Really, well, I'm just lazy I mean, and I hate change. What's so like, funny is that, I mean, you, people don't change, you know? No. Like, even how you were as a kid. Like, I could see you, you know, I could see you doing that. You, you're very, like, when you do a PMJ video first, you know exactly what you want to do, you know, in terms of, like, backup singers and stuff. You're like, okay, we're going to do this. I got this, blah, 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 you know, which is great. It makes it a breeze to work with you because you, you already know how to execute all those things. Is so that a you nice that. way of saying I'm controlling? Uh, no, well, I mean, yeah, but in a, in a good way. But, you know, you're not hard to work with. You're not, <laughs> oh, good. You're not, like, it's very easy to work with you, you know. Um, but you're very, 
you're able to take control of something and just be like, I, I got this. Like if I put you in charge of something, I know that it's going to get, you know, oh, good. like, I appreciate that. I, like when you were out on tour, um, with us, you know, I was like, well, if there's any backup singer problems or something like that, like Shoshana's got it. She's, she'll show everybody the harmonies and she'll make <laughs> sure that they're perfect and she won't let anybody. I didn't do that at all, but did I'm you? thrilled <laughs> that you No, that was kind of LeVance's job. How he was, was that? I, you know, we never really even, I didn't, I don't even think, um, when you got back, I didn't really even get to talk about tour too much with we you didn't? because well, maybe just very briefly, I think, um, you said like, uh, I was like, Oh, how was tour? Blah, blah, blah. You know? Cause I always hear sometimes people are like, it was a life changing thing. And you were like, yeah, I'm good with tour. That was, you know, like, I, I know that <laughs> you're not really a tour type of person, right? You don't really like to be on a bus with a, a ton of people. I think, I think I, I did enjoy it. I, but it was my first mm-hmm. experience having done that. Yeah. And I think it's different when you're out with, like, I think it's different when you're out with people like that are like, how do I say it? It's different when you're thrown into a group right, of people as opposed into, to like, this is my crew, right. these are the people I chose, you know what yeah. I mean, my band, my this, my that. Yeah. Um, so, and because I am a solo artist like that and I'm constantly, mm-hmm. specifically, strategically choosing the people around me. Sure, yeah. Um, but it was good for me because it was good to like, you know, like see where you, how you have to shift how you're being to be part of a group that it's not just about like, I feel this way and I need this right now. There's, it's a, it's a team and, um, yeah. and I'm not in charge of that team. Yeah. It's, but how can I show up to best serve the team? So it was a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. Not only that, I got to see parts of Europe I've never been to and mm-hmm. may never return to. Um, I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that is, that is definitely the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm like that whenever, you know, I go on the road, you know, um, I mean, it's intense to be on a, a bus for a long time. And that wasn't the that worst part. part. Is, the worst part for me mm. was the showering and stuff. Well, that's that that's, that's kind of rolled part. into it, right? Like yeah. that's the whole thing. The bus experience is like the sleeping on the bus, which actually is not that bad. The sleeping's then, the best. It's the, yeah, like how do I pack it's everything else? It's like cuz you have to dig well, your you own to, suitcase it's, logistically out. it's a nightmare. You know, yeah, like you got to have is. like a bag that has all your like your toothbrush and everything, but you can't put it in your suitcase cuz that's underneath the bus. Which you and have then you to might not have access to that. So then now I now you're And then you get some you're getting like stressed, so just like thinking about it. Yeah. You know, and I remember like when we were if you were, I don't know if you remember, you were packing for the tour, and you came over to our house when we were Brooke. at we were at Bro Ma- Mountain back mm-hmm. at my uh, the old place, and um, everybody was showing you how to pack for it, and there was like like how to make room, and you were freaking out. You were getting so like worked up. You're like, I don't, you know, how do I pack for this? What do I? Yeah, no. Will I have this? Like, do I need this? And and I'm just thinking, I'm like, oh, Shoshana's gonna hate this. She's gonna hate this. Experience. You're like, but it's funny because <laughs> I ended up wearing basically the same clothes. I literally just jogged every day That's through tour. the cities. That's tour. Yoga clothes, and then but you were like, you got I was your like, show how clothes. You got your sweatpants. That's it. Don't need <laughs> anything else. That's all you need. Bas- like one or two going out outfits if you're feeling frisky. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, the, no, just the showers. Like sometimes we'd end up in venues with like. Well, also you had the European showers, which are it. like kind of. I videotaped small. Yeah? it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, let me dig that up. Yeah. I was okay. like, if anybody ever has <laughs> the audacity to call me a diva, I am going to show you <laughs> that I showered in this freaking. Well, it's this in here. this is good because we just showed the um the birthday party clip. Yeah. So if you thought I was a brat and a diva, clearly a diva in that video. When would but, this have been? Here it is. Okay. All right. So can we? Has yeah. In the past, Wishes to call me a diva. I would like you to know that I just showered in this shower right here. Stop moving it. Okay, sorry, I gotta do it again because I don't read sign language. You know. Yeah, it was, was disgusting. It? I can't, yeah. Look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. God. Which oh. Con- where was this in? Oh. Does it say? I don't know. Well, there's a nice shower curtain. It's, it's How like dare it's... you? Oh, God. Oh, God. I just get scared. <laughs> That's not – I mean, there's – I've I've showered in worse. I'm it should put say that where there. it was, shouldn't it? Yeah. We've had some – I remember the very first time that we went to Europe, our very first tour – and um, we had, first of all, we had this bus. It was this yellow, bright yellow bus. It was the cheapest bus. I, I could only afford the cheapest bus. It was from like 1980 something. And it had it said the name of the bus company in Comic Sans font. And I'm like, that's a giveaway. That's a major tell. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Comic Sans. Um, and it was like, well, this is going to be interesting. And, and sure enough, it was rough. And I remember, you know, I think after our first show, all of us, we had to wait for one shower. It was like, you know, 14 of us, oh. one shower, and it was cold. 
and it was outside. Yeah. It was like an outdoor oh, no. yeah. thing, and it was like, wow, this is tour life is real. Tour life, kids. It's, it's real and then we tough, put on yeah. a face and our mm-hmm. heels, and we are on stage. And then people never see the. Uh, what did you say? It's the same bus that got hit in Germany, and we had to ride with plywood for half the tour. Oh yeah, we oh lost the God. window. Yeah, it, uh, somebody hit us. I think it was France actually. Germany, um, they hit a, a light post or something. And so there was a big hole in the in the upper deck of the bus. It was pretty crazy. That yeah, was, we had that was bus problems. We got pulled over in France uh-huh. and had to give our... We were there during the whole refugee crisis and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we had to give, show passports. Yeah. But there were so many, you know, w- w- driving over some bridge from, I want to say, like, Sweden into another country or into Sweden yeah. as the sun was coming up. Like if you sit up front with the driver, I mean, there's just so much magical. Stuff totally. Happens, absolutely. Too, and then you've toured up, you've done a bunch of things over in UK. I know if you're with your yeah. project. Yeah. Right. Um, what was the last time you did? You uh, did I guess a, it was a year ago this fall. I did you like did a, a residency, stream, right? Was yeah, that it? in London? And then we did That's like awesome. Germany, Austria, something like that like a little mini tour that's awesome it was fun yeah so were there any of the like the cities that you remembered going on on that tour the pmj tour that you've returned to i don't think i i mean i had been to vienna prior to pmj then i went again with pmj and then i went back again Uh after but i didn't do any repeats i don't think yeah no people would love to have you over there we had a good time yeah no we didn't do any repeats we didn't Mm -hmm. do the same cities yeah yeah, I don't think. But I'm anxious to go back because I feel like a big shot now. Like, I know that city and I know where to eat. And I know where, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's kind of fun, isn't it? It's oh, like, I tried oh, to yeah, ring those cities here. dry. I tried That's to great. Like, Google the highlights for each city yeah. like, before I would go and then be like, all See, right. See, I was like it. the opposite. I, like, I, you know, I would, I'd always be busy. I'd be working at the same time. So I'd be yeah. like in a hotel working. And, you know, we'd be in a city. I've been to Paris. I don't know how many times. I've never been to Eiffel Tower or the Louvre or any of those oh, places. Of course, I haven't seen any of those things. Sometimes uh, I would go to the city. This is I'm not proud of this, but I would take like a Google image of one of the landmarks. Yeah. And I put it on my Instagram, and I'd you be like, did "It's, tell me it's that. beautiful." Yeah, I know it's terrible, uh, right? But it just more, it more than. <laughs> but anything, I felt stupid not seeing any of these things. You know. It makes me a little sad for you that yeah. you work your whole. You work. People work their lives to be able to go to these places. Well, honestly, I love to work. So you I know, know. I don't like, see you as a vacation or like I don't I've never do. gone. I don't, you'd be like, I guys, I don't handle that well. I'm in Hawaii for two weeks. Yeah, I don't handle that well. It's not. I'm not good at that. Um, you don't like quiet, do you? No, I like to do things. Yeah, I like to do stuff. Why don't we do a song? Let's do a song. <laughs> He's like, let's change yeah. the subject because now we're getting into my <laughs> deep-seated wounds. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, what should we do? Let's do something. Let's do something that maybe people have requested you to cover that you never really cover because there's something. Have they asked you? Because I don't retain that stuff. Oh yeah. Um, well, I, there's people, stuff. Recently. People just want to hear you sing anything. I don't know. What are some songs that maybe you know well that, uh, that were a big influence on you? Or that you used I mean, to like to I mean, should we sing. do a Whitney or a Michael since we've been Yeah, why don't we do that? We've been talking for... about them, yeah. yeah we've, been, we've been name-dropping them. Yeah. We can... <laughs> Our homies. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you want to... Maybe... Um, I'll, let you, you know? I'll let you do it. And we'll see. Well, you know Greatest Love of All? Of course. Okay, that was what you wanted to that sing That was what I wanted party. to do at my birthday All right, party. well, why don't we do that? Let's make your, uh, you know, your nine-year-old dreams come true and Thank do some you. Winnie Houston. All right, let me, I'm, I'll see if I remember this, you know. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside give them a sense of pride to make it easier let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be a legend for a hero people need someone to look up to I finally found someone who fulfilled my needs A lonely place to be And so I learned to depend on me I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadows If I fail, if I succeed, at least I live as I happening to me 
Shauna Bean, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, that, that was, was fun. That was awesome. That was really fun. Why have we never done that? Well, we uh, we, we recorded it with PMJ with Michael Kilgore. Oh, we well, did, that's um, why we've. Never but we did done it that. super fast. We did it. We did. Um, it was like it was so. Good. But yeah, that was awesome. Michael's he's a lot like you in that he can. Um, he comes up with things so fast, like oh, he's he, a he writes. I am flattered. You would say you know, he's a lot like you, like backup parts and everything like that. He can just kind of whip it, just right, you know, instantly. Like just yeah. come up with an amazing backup singer arrangement of some stuff. Like we did um, uh, such great heights, and he came up with these awesome backups for that one. Um, yes, I had to learn yeah. that for the. Tour oh, that's right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you had to like, wait. So you sing, you sang backups. I did sing backups. Also, is that did, your like, first time ever? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Scott gives me up. I'm, no, just, I'm, not, I'm just teasing. I don't bring that up on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sang backup for Michael Jackson and That's all those right. guys. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Whitney. So that was all. I mean, that, that must have been a crazy experience. Oh, it was amazing. I think I was. Um, I don't want to say I was too young to appreciate it, but I, mm -hmm. I definitely was more interested in like the yeah. star. I was more starstruck than How I was like focused that? on the gig. Mm -hmm. Um, twenty-two, three, yeah, something like that. Wow. Old enough to know better, but young mm. enough to still be like not where I was supposed to be. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, so what was the what was the situation? Was it like a gala? Was it like a well? Uh, a I had concert been. It... Yeah. Well, first we did this mm -hmm. gig uh, for the like a jingle ball type of a situation, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and that MD uh, had hired this group of us mm -hmm. from the Broadway Inspirational Voices. He had pulled a couple people from that, and then so we did the jingle ball, and it was like. This was like early 2000s, so it was like Mark Anthony and Ricky Martin and yeah. Destiny's Child was new then. So all these people did that, and that was in um, December. Mm -hmm. And then, gosh, it was seven, eight, nine months later when they did Michael's 30th anniversary concert mm -hmm. at Madison Square Garden, and they just pulled the same team together. So this so, was at Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So was, so I mean, this I'm was sure the one was that was televised that happened the night before 9-11. Wow. Really? Yeah, so we were all like – you know, this two night event and we're just oh, high as man. kites and just, this was the greatest experience of our lives. Whoa. And like all these legends, you know, Ray Charles and Gladys Knight, I mean, everybody yeah. was there. And then the next morning my alarm went off because I had to go back to my office job, you know, the next right, day yeah. and my alarm went off and they were like, please stay indoors. Like, don't, we're urging you to just stay by your phone. Like, and I was you like, you weren't living in a city at this time, were you? I lived in Astoria. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, uh, and from Astoria where I lived, I was a little bit up you could see the entire thing. It was Man. awful. Now that I've brought us all the yeah, way down, yeah. mm -hmm. that's heavy. Wow, I didn't even. But know it's just that the, that was the like the like that's... juxtaposition of like right. the night before, and then that is yeah. I mean, that's a week. Jeez, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, well, going back to, um, I'd imagine a lot of this stuff came as a result of you. You did Broadway, and you were pretty young when you started on Broadway, right? Um, I got to New York when I was 20, uh, 22, yeah. and I did an off-Broadway show first. So this was before yeah. Hairspray or anything. I did an off-Broadway show. Oh, so the Michael Jackson thing happened before that. What's that? Oh, buffering? Oh, buffering. Oh, okay. Stop talking. Uh -oh. So just carry on. Oh, okay. As if nothing has happened. Um, um, I okay. did off-Broadway first. It's going to be out of sync? Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, all right. So we'll extras. end this. We'll end this, and then there'll be the deleted scene. So Good night. we're yeah. going to end this. This is for all the people that are watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the very first time that we've done the Scott Cast. And Shoshana Bean, you can follow her at shoshanabean.com. Uh, you can find her as Showbean on Instagram. Very good. Uh, Twitter, you're probably Shoshana also Shoshana Bean. Bean. YouTube, Shoshana Bean. YouTube, Shoshana Bean. Facebook, Shoshana, Shoshana Bean. Bean. There we go. Yeah. And um, Instagram's the only. That's the only outlier in yeah. the bunch. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, check out her new album. It's going to be coming out. We're working on a new PMJ video, which is going to be awesome. You can also check out, she's done a whole bunch of them. She's done I Want It That Way, which was the very first one we did. That was our biggest hit. Big hit. <laughs> Rockstar. No, Sorry was a big Poison hit, too. Poison Downer. Poison was great. We've only that's done like three, a, huh? That's a deep, that's deep cup. No, um, sorry. Stone Cold. Also. Oh, Stone Cold. Yeah. Also a, a The flop, last one that I filmed in the other house. Yeah. yeah. I love that one, but that was kind of a flop. I thought it was good. I thought it was great. What did you yeah, say? Rook was in it. He was breaking down. He was oh, doing the Oh, yeah, roadie. Rook, you were. You had you a feature. A awesome. Okay, so check out all that stuff. Check out Shoshana. She's awesome. I hope you guys were entertained. And we'll <laughs> Thanks, talk guys. to you soon, okay? Bye.